So what we did before spring break was we learned how to do substitution for the most part, elimination for the most part, and then we learned how to graph and shade um, those inequality things. So what we're looking at this week is application problems, and I believe next week we kind of wrap things up by looking at different things that we know are going to be on, or that I know are going to be on the test to kind of get things together. Um, so three days of application problems are going to cover one type of problem per day. The first type covers uh, questions that contain a total and a comparison. The total is easy to deal with but it's just difficult to see the words. The funny thing is that the comparison is easy to see but it's just tricky to deal with. So one of them you can see but it's hard to kind of get together. The other one you can't see but it's easy to put it once you find it. So let's look at an example before uh, taking down a couple of notes. Um, this problem, the type of problem you're going to see is going to say something like a group of 77 people attended a show. There were six times as many children as adults. Write a system of equations that could be used to solve this problem. First off, when you see that they're talking about how many people attended a show, that represents your total right there. And what we want to do when we see this is recognize that there are two different types of people attending the show. And you got to find that. It says there were six times as many children as adults. So what we are going to write is that children plus adults, because that's how you find a total, has to equal whatever that total is, which is 77. Again, 77 people attended. We know that they were only children and adults, so that means the number of children and the number of adults had to equal 77. That's your total problem. So again, it's hard to see because it doesn't say a total of 77 people attended. It just says 77 people attended it, so we have to set it up like that. The second thing, though, is this part. Six times as many children as adults. Uh, we know we're going to multiply one of the two variables by 6, but the way I'd always do it is if there are 6 times as many children as adults, that means that the number of children has to be 6 times the number of adults because there were more children. So again, 6 times as many children as adults, meaning there are more children, which means that the number of children has to equal the number of adults times 6. So again, I, or you could just go in order. There were 6 times as many children as adults, mean put C equals 6A as your second equation. Now if you remember from back before we took the break uh, we had problems like this where we had substitution we put the 6a in for here we solve it we find our answers we go on from there so it's not going to be that hard to solve it's just going to be making sure you know how to set it up but notice again the, the total was not blatantly stated in the problem but we did know that 77 people attended also again notice how careful we had to set up the comparison and make sure that we didn't do it wrong so the first thing we want to do is look at these comparisons. There will be math XL questions like this. They are meant to just build your skill, not to work you to death. If you're having issues with these questions when they pop up, please come up so I can talk you through it and get you used to it. But once you get used to it, the problem becomes easy. Uh, the first one says there are six times as many boys as girls. So again, six times as many boys means that there were more boys. So we're going to use B for boys equals, if there were six times as many, it'll be 6G. And that's all we have to do. Six times as many boys means that there were more boys. So we're going to do six times the number of girls would give you the number of boys. For example, if there were 10 girls, there should have been 60 boys. Look at this. Take the 10. Plug it in here. Six times 10 is 60. So it works out that way, the way we need it to. If a statement said there were nine times as many men as women, the first off thing you want to understand is there were nine times as many men, which means that there were more men. So you put M equals. And of course, we use W for women but there were nine times as many men, so we put nine W. We have to make sure we use uh, variables that make sense in terms of what's going on. There were four times as many cats as dogs. Um, four times as many dogs, I'm sorry, dogs as cats. So four times as many dogs means that the number of dogs is higher. And in order to make it match, we're going to take the cats and multiply by four. And so that is one of the things, again, you're going to see uh, on this math Excel just to make sure you know how to do it again don't just rush through it trying to make the grade make sure you're actually trying to figure it out because that is what you need to know for your test in the end uh, we have to be able to solve the problem and so another thing you're going to see on here is it's just going to say solve the equation and again we saw this before because this is substitution it has a m equals 4w remember that we used to do the box and switch so m is equal to 4w which means I'm going to put another box around this m that turns into 4w plus w equals 20. That makes 5w equals 20. And when you divide by 5, wrap that up with w equals 1. Take this 1. Hold on, equals 4. I'm tripping. 
take that 4, plug it in for W, so we go back to M plus W equals 20. Take the 4 and put it in for W, so M plus 4 equals 20, which means that when I subtract 4 from both sides, M is equal to 16. So the number of men would be M equals 16, W equals 4. That would be what we are looking for in that. But again, the basic idea is we are substituting. Once I see M equals 4, W, put that in for M and finish the question up. Looking at example B. B plus G is equal to 126. G is equal to 6B. So again, this is your variable is by itself. This is what it's equal to. And we are going to put that here because G was what was by itself. And we end up with B plus 6B equals 126. These two things make 7B equals 126. Divide both sides by 7. And you end up with B is equal to 18. Take that. Plug that in for B. So B plus G equals 126. Turn that B into 18 plus G equals 126. Subtract 18 from both sides to find out what G is. And you end up with 108. And again, that's what we're going to have. B is equal to 18. G is equal to 108. And that'll be it. So it says today's Math Excel will have each type of problem. You will be asked to translate a comparison, which is what we did in the beginning where we um, took it and put the total number and the other part. Uh, just be sure to use meaningful variables. So if they say cats and dogs, use C and D. If they say men and women, use M and W. If they say sweaters and vests, use S and V. Uh, for V for vest. So just make sure you do that. Otherwise, the computer is not going to recognize it. Uh, you will be then asked to find two equations. Um, next, you'll be asked to solve the system. Uh, so again, that's part of what we did there. And then the final questions are going to ask you to do the whole thing. And so before we move to Math XL, let's look at a whole problem completely to make sure you understand what the last two questions are going to be like on your Math XL. And again, once you get to the last two questions, you should be okay because you obviously understand everything you need to understand. Uh, this one here says a group of 112 people attended a movie. There were seven times as many children as adults. Write a system you could use to solve a problem and then solve it to find the number of children and adults in the group. So the first thing we recognize is that we need to write the system. We understand that 112 people attended and so we first off have to say what types. We're talking children and adults which means we're going to put C plus A equals 112. Remember the total part that we talked about. The second thing it says is there were seven times as many children as adults, and so this is where our translation comes in. Uh, there were seven times as many children, so C equals 7A, because there were seven times as many children as adults, so multiply seven times adults. Some things you just have to memorize how it works, and that is really just how it works. Now we have the equation to solve. So C is the variable by itself. It's equal to 7A, and we are going to put that 7A here, so we get 7A plus a equals 112. That of course makes 8a equals 112. Divide by 8 the way we know to. 112 divided by 8 is 14. And then we take the 14 and plug it back. So c plus a equals 112. Take the 14, put it in for a, and then solve the way we've been taught to. 112 minus 14 I think is 98 and it is and so there were 14 adults and 98 children well it says seven times as many adults as children so if you took seven times 14 notice that it gives you 98 which means that it does work out also if you take 14 plus 98 notice that it adds up to 112 which represents the number of people and so that is what you're going to end the day on. But again, make sure you are asking questions. You are now no longer freshman uh, anymore. And I might be under the title of freshman, but you're so close to the end of your years or end of your year that you are really no longer a freshman, which means all of your freshman tendencies need to stop. Uh, stop allowing the frustration to make you stop, uh, quit. Uh, you got to make sure you ask questions whenever you have them. And you have to make sure you stay on task as much as possible in terms of working to move forward. So other than that, like I said, go ahead and go to your MathXL, uh, try that stuff out, and let's see what happens. Good luck.